From the year 418 AD to 711 AD, the Visigoths were a Germanic tribe that played a significant role in the late Roman and early medieval periods. Originating from the Baltic region, they migrated westward and eventually settled in what is now modern-day Spain and Portugal. Under King Alaric the I, they sacked Rome in 410 AD, marking a significant event in the decline of the Western Roman Empire. The Visigothic Kingdom was established in 418 AD and endured for over two centuries. The kingdom's capital was initially in Toulouse before moving to Toledo. Key moments in Visigothic history include the conversion to Arian Christianity under King Recared I in 589 AD and the establishment of the Visigothic Code, a compilation of laws and legal procedures. The Visigothic Kingdom faced internal strife, including power struggles among noble families, as well as external threats from other Germanic tribes, Byzantine forces, and eventually the Muslim invasion. In 701 AD, the Visigothic Kingdom was swiftly conquered by the Umayyad Caliphate during the Islamic expansion into Europe. This marked the end of Visigothic rule in the region and the beginning of Islamic rule in Spain. Fascinating fact, the Battle of the Catalanian Plains in 451 AD is often considered one of the most decisive battles in Western history. Faced with a formidable coalition of Roman and Visigothic forces, the Huns, led by Attila, and their Ostrogothic allies clashed in a monumental conflict. The Visigoths, under the command of Theodoric I, played a crucial role in this battle, helping to repel the Huns and securing a significant moment in European history. From the 3rd century BC to the 3rd century AD, the Parthian Empire stood as a formidable power in the Near East, shaping the geopolitical landscape of the region. Originating from the ancient Iranian plateau, the Parthians established a decentralized empire, renowned for their skilled horse archers and innovative military tactics. Under the leadership of Arsaces, the first, the Parthians rebelled against the Seleucid Empire in the mid-3rd century BC, establishing their own independent kingdom. The city of Ctesiphon emerged as the empire's capital, a bustling center of trade and culture. One of the defining moments in Parthian history was their conflict with the Roman Republic. The Battle of Carhai in 53 BC, where the Parthians, led by General Surena, decisively defeated the Roman forces under Crassus, showcased their military prowess and marked a humiliating defeat for Rome. Their coinage, featuring royal portraits and Zoroastrian symbols, reflected their rich artistic heritage. Despite internal power struggles and external pressures from neighboring empires like Rome and the Kushan Empire, the Parthians maintained their independence for centuries. However, in the third century AD, internal instability and external invasions, notably by the Sasanian Empire, led to the downfall of the Parthian Empire. Fascinating fact, the Parthian shot a military tactic involving mounted archers firing arrows while retreating at full gallop became synonymous with Parthian warfare. From the 15th to the 20th centuries, the Portuguese Empire stood as the world's first global maritime power, shaping the course of world history through exploration, trade and colonization. Originating from the small kingdom of Portugal in the Iberian Peninsula, this empire would expand its reach across continents and oceans, leaving a profound legacy that endures to this day, beginning in 1415 with the conquest of Ceuta in North Africa. Led by visionary navigators and explorers like Prince Henry the Navigator or Ferdinand Magellan, Portugal embarked on a series of daring voyages of discovery, venturing into uncharted waters and establishing lucrative trade routes to Africa, Asia and the Americas. The establishment of key trading posts and colonies, such as Goa in India, Macau in China and Brazil in South America, 
solidified Portugal's presence in strategic regions around the globe. One of the defining moments in Portuguese history was the successful navigation around the Cape of Good Hope by Vasco da Gama in 1498, opening up direct maritime access to the lucrative spice markets of Asia. Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, emerged as a thriving cosmopolitan center and a hub of international commerce and culture. The Portuguese empire faced challenges from rival European powers, including Spain, England and the Netherlands, leading to conflicts such as the Anglo-Spanish War and the Dutch-Portuguese War. One famous moment was the Battle of Diu in 1509, where a Portuguese fleet, led by Dom Francisco de Almeida, defeated a joint force of the Egyptian Mamluks, the Ottoman Empire, the Sultanate of Gujarat, and the Zamorin of Calicut. In 1999, with the handover of Macau to China, Portugal's era of colonial rule officially came to an end. Fascinating fact, the Treaty of Tordesillas in 1494, negotiated between Portugal and Spain under the auspices of the Catholic Church, divided the newly discovered territories outside Europe between the two powers. From approximately 4000 BC to 1900 BC, the Sumerian civilization flourished in the region of ancient Mesopotamia, known as the Cradle of Civilization. Situated in the southern part of present-day Iraq, Sumer comprised a collection of city-states, each with its own ruler and distinct culture. The Sumerians made significant contributions to human history, including the invention of writing, the development of complex irrigation systems, the invention of the wheel, and the establishment of the world's first urban centers. Cities like Uruk, Ur, and Lagash thrived as hubs of trade, commerce, and culture. The Sumerians worshipped a pantheon of gods and goddesses, building elaborate temples called ziggurats as places of worship and administrative centers. One of the most enduring legacies of Sumerian civilization is the invention of cuneiform writing, one of the earliest known writing systems in human history. This script was used for record keeping, literature and communication, shaping the development of written language for millennia to come. The Sumerians also made advancements in mathematics, astronomy and literature. They developed a sophisticated system of mathematics based on the number 60, which influenced later civilizations, including the Babylonians and Greeks. However, the Sumerian city-states were frequently embroiled in conflicts over resources and territory. They faced invasions from neighboring peoples, such as the Akkadians under Sargon the Great, who established the Akkadian Empire in the 24th century BC. Fascinating fact. The Sumerians are credited with the invention of beer, one of the oldest recorded alcoholic beverages in history. They brewed beer from barley and other grains, consuming it in religious rituals and daily life. From around 500 BC to 800 AD, the Germanic peoples thrived across Northern Europe shaping the cultural and political landscape of the region. Originating from various tribes and clans, the Germanic peoples inhabited areas that are now part of modern-day Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and the Netherlands. They lived in small, decentralized communities, organized around kinship ties, and led by chieftains or kings. The Germanic tribes were diverse, including well-known groups such as the Goths, Vandals, Franks, Saxons, and Lombards, among others. Each tribe had its own distinct culture, language, and territory. The term Germanic is believed to have originated from the Latin word Germani, used by Julius Caesar to describe the peoples east of the Rhine River. The Germanic period typically ends around 800 AD with the beginning of the Frankish Empire under Charlemagne. This marks the transition from the Germanic tribal societies to a more centralized political structure in Europe. 
the Germanic tribes played a significant role in the decline of the Western Roman Empire, with events such as the sack of Rome by the Visigoths in 410 AD and the deposition of the last Roman Emperor in 476 AD. This period also saw the beginning of the Migration Period, during which various Germanic tribes migrated across Europe, leading to the establishment of new kingdoms and the fusion of Germanic and Roman cultures. Among the notable figures of Germanic history is Arminius, also known as Hermann the Cheruscan, who famously led the Germanic tribes to victory against the Roman legions at the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest in 9 AD, halting Rome's expansion into Germania. Fascinating fact. The Germanic peoples had a strong oral tradition, passing down their history, myths and legends through epic poems and sagas. One of the most famous examples is the Old English poem Beowulf, which tells the story of a hero's battles against monsters and dragons.